Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In a previous video, I installed this 12 volt semi truck parking RV van, not boat, but now boat, 12 volt mini split air conditioner in my boat. And it's been doing great. So it's been installed for about two weeks, but when I installed it, I've been running it off of this 120 volt AC to 12 volt DC converter. And I said, hey, this thing should be running on 12 volts. Let me go find a cheap battery on Amazon. So I found this battery and more about that here in a second. Uh, for 135 bucks on Amazon, there were some that were a little bit cheaper. But this one has uh, Bluetooth connectivity, so I didn't have to buy a monitor. I can monitor it with my phone. And we'll show you those settings. But I got back to the boat a little bit ago, fired it up, hooked it up, and uh, let's show you that. And then uh, give it a little more time here, and then we'll walk through the voltage, how long it lasts, and hopefully this thing doesn't turn off me in the middle of the night and I wake up sweating. Let's walk through the setup and talk more about this thing. It's 6 p.m., just got off work. Current temperature in the boat at the bottom, you can read it there, it's 92 degrees. So it is 92 degrees in here. And I'm gonna connect this air conditioner to this. It's a Nuti, Nuti Power, 12 volt. Life Pro 4 lithium ion battery. So the cool thing about this one is about $140 on Amazon and it comes with an app. Let's see, we're currently at 99% battery power. So this does have Bluetooth. Uh, I charged it, it didn't go to 100, but 99 I think is just as good as 100, right? So I'm gonna simply connect it with these screws and see how we what do we do? And uh, since these life pose, the BMS is not good. This AC here has a, a built-in uh, fuse, so that's good. I guess we're going to see together how this works. I've been running it off of this. People told me it's an inverter, but online it's, it's a, it says it's a converter. So it converts the AC to DC 12 volts. The problem is here on the controls, Hercules, so the max. Um, this thing... I guess drops below 12 volts or it's only at 12 volts so it's pretty strict with those 12 volts so it's giving me a, a error code that says I'm low voltage so I know this this guy has all the voltage and we're still at 99% so it is 606 p.m. and hopefully I don't wake up in the middle of the night with no AC we are gonna go right to Hercules mode. So 3P is as, 3P is as low as the cooling will go. And Hercules sets the fan as high as it will go. So we've already dropped to 98% here. 12.8 um, seven total volts. Current uh, almost 70 amps. It says 900 watts of power. So it says one hour and 24 minutes till empty. So yeah, let's see. Um, once this gets down to 70 degrees, um, actually, let me, uh, what I'm gonna try to do here is switch modes. So I like to run it on manual with the fan on four set to about 10 and 10 P is 10 degrees Celsius. So that gets me cool until I go to eco. Um, eventually I'll get to eco. So now I have 10 hours. Um, okay, so it's saying seven hours, seven and a half hours, no, two hours, two hours. Uh, well, well, I guess one hour, we'll, we'll see. So again, 6 p.m., this thing's running on max. Um, once this drops down to temperature, uh, I'll put it in eco and we'll get another reading. So. You know, let's see how long this super cheap LifePo 4 can run this uh, 12 volt AC, parking AC. That's installed on my boat. It's me from the future. Just want to jump in here real quick and tell you that this first test that you're going to watch, um, it was flawed. You'll see why it's flawed later on, but uh, stick around because there's two more tests that really uh, show the, the the true performance of this battery but again i'm gonna go walk through what happened in the first test so you know what not to do and then uh yeah those those next two tests are really what this video is all about guys right, first update it's been 31 minutes and we've dropped about 15 degrees but we've dropped about 25 percent um says we have about two hours left of runtime, I still have this on manual. 
So two hours is not bad, I guess. Uh, pulling 38.72 amps with um, 500 watts of power. And I've got this um, set at 12 degrees Celsius, which is a really good uh, spot for nighttime, maybe even 13 degrees Celsius. And I've got it set at four out of five on the fan speed. So first update, you know, if you look at the time, it doesn't look good, but here in a little bit, um, once we drop uh, a little, you know, about seven more degrees, I'll set it in eco and we'll see how long it lasts. So it's been one hour and five minutes. The temperature in the boat right now is currently 71 degrees. So that's 20 degrees in about an hour. So it's 71 degrees. I'm setting this thing to eco. I've got it currently set at 13 degrees Celsius, which is like 55 degrees Fahrenheit, according to the Google machine. And at one hour, we have burned through 55% of the battery. So now at Eco, we're running 31 amps and 400 watts of power. Uh, so it says we still only have an hour and 42 minutes left, but it's kind of been an hour and 40 or so minutes for quite a bit now. But we'll see if I get more than a couple hours of it. Uh, obviously about two and a half or three hours before I go to bed. So we'll, um, we will definitely know the, the temperature of the battery has stayed pretty cool, maybe because the AC is blowing on it at about 88 degrees. And uh, we're down to 13.16 volts. So the voltage is still holding pretty steady. Uh, I'm sorry, 3.18 AWE voltage. Tell me what that is in the comments. I, I don't know. Um, but 12.72 uh, volts of actual real volts, if I read the real one. So, uh, so it just dropped down to 7 amps, and uh, we're, we were at 90 watts. And now I got to, for some reason, it disconnected from the device. So let's try this again. So we're back on. Okay, so now it went back up to 35 amps, 40 amps, and 500 watts of power. So an hour and 20 minutes, 54%. So we will see. I might try running this test again. This is the first time this battery was ever charged. So it came like 80% charged. So I charged it at home and it said the first time it may not charge correctly and that it may need to, to, to charge again. So I guess we'll see if, if it's gonna work. But yeah, again, this is a Nudie Power LifePo 400 amp. It says that the, the BMS inside is 100 watts. So you're definitely gonna need a 100 watt BMS to run this AC, which does say it's like a 100 watt AC. If I can look at some of the other specs on this battery. So yeah, it's a 12 volt, 100 amp hour, clearly, as you can see, and I've already said multiple times. 100 amp BMS, grade A cells, deep cycle rechargeable, 10,000 plus cycles. And it was $135.99. Now the dimensions, it is, it's 10 inches wide, nine inches tall, and uh, six and a half or 6.66 inches, 6.6 .6 inches wide. Um, so it's not a very big battery. It's actually quite light. 21 pounds is what it says, but carrying it from the car was actually not bad at all. You do have to download the uh, app and it's the Xiao Zhang, Xiao Zhang electric app. A couple of X's there and the Xiao and the Zhang. Um, but that's the app that I've been using and you've seen work with this. It says the uh, real capacity is uh, 1,280 watt hours with the 100 amp BMS and the max load power is uh, 1,280 watts. Peak current of 200 amps. It says don't worry about the problem of load not running. It says it have a t has a 10 year warranty or something like that. So yeah, not a whole lot else on the battery that I found on there, but I'm sure there's some, some other details. I don't, I can't remember if I brought the, the it may be still in the car if I brought the uh, the book to this. So I'm gonna continue running this. We're uh, actually gone up just slightly, but that's fine. It's not quite 95 degrees outside. It's probably closer to 85. The temperature is gonna drop today. So it's 83 degrees outside. Uh, we're gonna get to a low of 72 tonight. So we'll see how this does with kind of moderate-ish temperatures. It's only gonna be a little bit warmer tomorrow. So we'll see again what this does. I'm gonna continue this test and uh, probably check back in here in a couple hours or when this completely stops altogether. Quick update, it's currently 739. So that's what, 30, an hour and a half. My total voltage has dropped to 10 and a half volts. And it currently says I'm at nine, well, no I'm not. So we'll reset it, it's on eco. Let me turn it down to, back to 13 degrees Celsius. Cell UVP protection came on. So the cell UVP protection has come on. Um, it's only at 
91 degrees so it's not that hot actually cell under voltage has come on so at an hour and a half we've dropped to 10 and a half volts and i'm no longer cooling my boat so i'm gonna switch it over to here i'm gonna go ahead and charge this battery again uh because like i said this was my first this was uh the first charge that i've done on this battery so yeah let's hook it up i don't know if i'm gonna throw in the towel here or not we'll see maybe i'll run it a little more after I, it charges it might take a while to charge so maybe i'll hit it up tomorrow so yeah i'm gonna charge this and we'll uh we'll check back in tomorrow so the reviews on this battery are pretty good so i'm not gonna write it off it does say in the directions that it may not charge the first the first charge may not it may not be accurate so this literally said that it was at like 40 something percent now it's saying when, when I started charging it, it said 0%. So it's started at zero as soon as I plugged it in and it's up to 22% and it's only been charging for a little over an hour. It says we have five hours left. Now on here, it says we're at, this was not matching the battery either. So this ever start, uh, hopefully it can be red. Uh, we'll see. It says it's like at you know probably 60 percent but it also started at zero and it stuck at zero for a while and popped up and stayed low so i'm thinking that the initial charge just wasn't very good like it said and it, and it said that in the directions it said the charger may not sync up you may have to restart it or, or whatever i don't know if there's a way to restart it in here i'll look I, I haven't found anything it's only 23 percent i've got about five hours to charge it so i'm going to do that it's supposed to be a little bit hotter tomorrow so it should be hotter when we get to the boat tomorrow I'll hook this thing up and uh, we'll do this all over again. Well, it's the next day and we're going to try this test again. It's currently 89 degrees outside. I don't mind this thing. The outside temperature is not 102 degrees. Uh, the, therm the thermostat is in the window. 91 in the engine compartment, 98 in the head behind me, and 94 degrees in the boat. It was just sitting up here, so 94 degrees. My battery's actually at 100% this time. Uh, so like I like you saw in the last clip there it did charge to 100% I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it on and I'm gonna set it on manual again fan is at 4 and at 10 degrees Celsius it's 94 degrees about 30 minutes it'll be 74 degrees and uh, we'll see what this battery says quick look here it says uh, 75 amps and almost 100 watts and an hour and 24 minutes of use so Oh, it's dropped down 60 yeah 70 and 900 so 71 so we'll see how this thing how it performs now that it's actually been to 100 percent quick check in it's only been about 10 minutes but we're down to 86 degrees we're also down to 88 percent on the battery i did turn this up to five but i just turned it back down to four now we're, we're down to about 60 amps and 700 watts but this cable um is this red cable is pretty hot it's pretty hot on this side of the fuse, it's not too bad, but over here, it's better. Ah, oh, no, it's not. So I can hold on to it for about three seconds before I have to let go. Pretty warm. Um, so yeah, that's a that's a thing. So we'll see if it cools down any. We put the uh, little bit of cooling power on it, see if that helps us out. But uh, yeah, pretty hot. Check back in here soon. So been about an hour 74 degrees in here and dropping batteries 53 percent in an hour so it's pulling through it but it, the amperage has dropped to 42 and the wattage has dropped to 500. i'm pretty close now once it gets down to a couple more degrees i don't know if 72 or 70 i'm gonna go ahead and switch this over to eco uh, which should drop this current down a little bit farther and then we'll see how much more life we get out of it. You know, we're still pulling 12.9, 13 volts. So we're still doing good on voltage. And again, you know, this thing, it came out of the box this weekend. I charged it. It said it was at 75%. The charger, uh, I don't know what it did. The charger never went to 100%. This went to 99% and it just stopped. But the, the, the instructions did say, you did have to keep an eye on this. You know, there might be an issue with your first charge. You might have to discharge it and reset it. We'll keep charging ahead. And hopefully, you know, we get more than 30 minutes out of this thing. But we're at an hour now. Well, the good news is we've already surpassed yesterday's time by 10 minutes. And we still have 30% left. Right now it's saying we have about an hour. But as this thing drops, it was at 4 hours uh, not long ago. So we're pulling 30, 32 amps, 400 watts. Um, when it dropped and, you know, adjusted its cooling cycle, we were down to 
you know, in the single digits and 100 or so watts. It will fluctuate, but we're at 30%. The good news is we're still at almost 13 volts. So this second charge on this battery is doing much better. Yeah, we are at a little over an hour and a half. Let's see how much better this can do today than it did yesterday. We're at 1%, 11.85 volts, still pulling 32 amps and just under 400 watts. We're at almost three hours. So that's a huge improvement over yesterday. I'll let you know how long it lasts completely, but I'm not done. Tomorrow, I'm gonna turn it on on the converter. I'm gonna drop this down to around 70 degrees, where we're at now. And then I'm gonna see how long this battery will maintain the air conditioner running on the eco mode. So one more test to run tomorrow. But yeah, that's a much better. So three hours so far with this battery. Um, so it's like, thir so, which means it averaged, and see it just dropped down to four amps, 18 amps back to 34 as it's cycling through now to 40, 41. So that means we're averaging what, like 30, 30 some, 33, 34 amps. Not bad, we'll, we'll keep going and we'll run this test tomorrow on just eco mode, not forcing this thing to bring the temperature down from you know the mid 90s to 70 degrees. As you saw yesterday, we got three hours out of this running, dropping the temperature in here from 94 degrees down to 70 and then setting it on eco. So right now, 5.15 p.m., I came back, I used the converter to get it down to 71 degrees, 71.9, and now I've set it to eco at 13 degrees Celsius. We're gonna see how long it'll last if it doesn't have to, you know, if it's already at temperature. So I guess this, is, this test really demonstrates that like you've taken your van or RV or whatever off of shore power, or uh, maybe the cab AC has already cooled it down. So you get to where you're going and you just wanna keep it cool because it's warm outside. And it, right now it's in the mid seventies and it's gonna stay about this temperature all night. So, it's, so I, I wanna keep it cool. Cooler than that, this boat does heat up pretty quick. Yeah, 11,000 BTUs. Again, if I haven't said that before, I don't think I did. Let's see how long it can last just on eco. The final results are in. This nudie power battery, the first test as you saw went horribly because the battery wasn't charged all the way. So you have to discharge it and then charge it and then it, it, it does well. So after that, charged 100% uh, when I came into the boat. Again, as you saw, brought this thing down from uh, 94 degrees uh, into the 70s and then ran on eco. Uh, I got three hours out of it. So this time, brought the temperature down to 70. It's been running for five hours. Three hours to, you know, if, if you need to cool down, if, if it's hot in your cab, RV, whatever, and you need to cool it down, you're only gonna get about three hours out of this thing. But if it's already cool and you're gonna, you wanna run it, on one battery, you can run this for five hours. So this ran for five hours. It's, it is, I don't even have my watch on because it's charging now. It was 5.15 when I came in, the, I turned this on, and it's 10:15 when this thing went to zero. So that's pretty good. You know, if you had two of these, you could run much longer. So you know, most RVs, vans, those type of things have at least two of these. So you could probably, you know, so that's what six hours, probably longer because you'll already be at 70 degrees. So if only one of them runs down, um, you know, that's like eight hours. So you could run this thing all night, basically. Cool little test, nice little uh, AC. It's been great having this thing in the boat. Don't have to run all this other stuff, run the boat AC. But yeah, we'll see what we do with this thing here in the near future. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps you decide on something like this if you're ever doing it. Like, subscribe, do the free things, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.